So I am going to show everybody how to remove the holidays from their Outlook account. Uh, it's, uh, there's no automatic button that just removes them. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually add them first, so that way I can show you how to re remove them. Uh, the reason why you would want to remove them, especially for our people who are using uh, Who's Next appointment schedulers, when you have something like a holiday like, uh, I'll just pick on uh, Administrative uh, Assistant Day, uh, it blocks the whole day. And then that way, even if you have an event uh, created for student appointments, uh, that particular holiday then blocks that student from being able to get any kind of appointment for that day. So it's probably best not to have holidays on your calendar through Outlook. Uh, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to actually add, add the holidays because I don't have them on here. Uh, so hit File, and I go to uh, Options. And then within Options, it's got the calendar. And then I could say add holidays. So there is no un unadd holidays. So this is a, so you probably don't want to do this. And then there's all these different uh, countries and and uh, different terminologies for for holidays. Right now it's defaulted to United States. So I'm just going to okay. Uh, do I want to install them again? Yes. So again, this is just to add the holidays. So if you don't have your holidays. Don't worry about watching this video. Uh, I hit OK. So now my holidays are in there. So again, I'll I will pick on. Oops. So today, see how it says Administrative Professionals Day right there. Uh, so to get rid of that, I could go through the calendar, but I didn't go through it for a very long time trying to get rid of these individually, but it, it hovers above. But in reality, it's blocking the whole day from being able to uh, make an appointment for the student through the who's next. So what I need to do is I need to go into the view, and then what's going to happen is I need to go to change the view and change it from a regular traditional calendar to a list. And then what I'm going to look for is that that was the location was actually called United States. Um, that's the location that they use for the all the holidays for United States. So I will just uh, search for those. And then notice how they're all highlighted. So all you got to do is and look, it's got Christmas over and over again. Uh, so to remove them, I just go like pick the first one, hold down the shift key. See, there's a lot of them in there. And then as I'm holding down the sh uh, shift key, I go ahead and hit the last one, and then I hit the delete button. And then that's going to delete all of those holidays out of my calendar. And as long as I don't go hit that add, add uh, holidays in there again, uh, it's not going to add them. So I'd have to manually go back in and hit uh, uh, in the options. I'd have to hit that. So now they're gone. So if I go back. So that's the important thing is you'd want to change your view back to the calendar view. Uh, and I don't know why it says that. I think it was just because I was trying to do a search. And <clears throat> I said, see, now it's just, now if I look, it's, uh, it is gone. So that is how you remove the holidays from your calendars.